weekend and I'm just going to run through a little bit of learning we did in the RS800. So here's the tack from the weekend, plenty of breeze on and sometimes it's really difficult to get a skiff through the eye of the wind. So here's a few tips. First of all, easy jib, a loose leech helps you turn but the other key thing is getting the right amount of main sheet ease on the X at the tack which is consistent and predictable for the helm to steer to. So here's what the problem can be sometimes. Again, ease the jib, go for attack. This is slightly wider, lighter wind. You can see the rudder just stalls out there. The main sheet's on hard. Now the crew will feel the boat slipping sideways and they'll feel that as a lack of um, healing moment as the boat skids and they'll just want to sheet on more. But that just makes the problem harder because the rudder's stalled out, boat slipping sideways, and what you really need is ease. Now, the root of this problem in skip is where you swap hands behind your back and getting the right amount of ease in the sheet. So normally, guy is doing like two or three swaps of the hand in, in attack. Every time you swap hands, you obviously risk dropping the sheet we also risk picking the sheet up in a different place and therefore not having the right amount of ease. This can either lead, well, can lead to one of two things, either coming out of tack with too much main sheet on, stalling up the rudder as we see here in this masthead shot. Notice the top batten pops early, the booms on the center line, the leech is hard, pushing the back of the boat to leeward whilst the rudder is trying to bring the back of the boat to windward to bear away. The rudder loses grip, slips sideways, and the boat fails to accelerate properly. Or it means you've got to ease out that sheet as you're moving out, so you're paying out sheet as you're moving in the opposite direction. And that's quite hard to do consistently. Plus, if something happens to that sheet, someone treads on it, as you're paying it out, then it'll just rip straight out in your hand. And that's often one of the other places where a drop happens. Let's have a look again at the new style. The guy passes the sheet up to his front hand, but then after this point, he puts his back hand, he lifts it over his head, but otherwise he just keeps the sheet in the exact same place in his right hand. Um, he knows that's got plenty of ease for the exit of the tack. Rid is centered straight away and accelerating, no skidding sideways, plenty of ease on the main and crucially he's not had to swap hands he's just taken it through ducked under the sheet taking the sheet through in one hand hit the handle he knows it's perfect and it's also super consistent for the helm you know that because that sheet's not been swapped behind hands it's not going to be played out it's going to be in exactly the right place on the exit so that coupled with a bit of a jib uncleat to just give a bit of ease on the jib should allow you to come out the tacks when it's breezy nice and low get the boat accelerated ripping again and um, yeah nice and nice and neat you can also see it from the mast cam so you see the hands so he passes it to his front hand uses back hand just not to grab the rope but just to lift it over his head so yeah, pretty booming day. Um, downwinds were pretty fresh as well, hitting 20 knots, uh, sending out the harbour into some chop. Um, but yeah, that's it really. Just a just a little point to share with you. Thought that was quite interesting. Been asked to do a video on tacking for a while. So um, yeah, take care. Hope you've been enjoying Sail GP as well. I've certainly been um, casting a keen eye over it. Going to talk to some mates about that in the future as well. So see you around.